Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a simple uh, plan and uh, actually extrude it to get something like this in SketchUp. So we're going to start uh, from SketchUp. Uh, in future videos, I can show you how we can import uh, from other formats. But for now, let's just get ready to start uh, to work in SketchUp from scratch. I'm going to open one architectural template. So first things first, let's go to Windows, Model Info, let's check the units. That's true at the beginning of uh, every file in every software. I'm going to go with three decimal places. Everything else is good here. And uh, this is the plan that we have. We're going to create this, right? So I'm going to uh, start with a set of uh, tape with a shortcut of T. Uh, and rectangle with a shortcut of R and lines uh, with a shortcut of L command. So I'm going to use T, R and L a lot uh, in this file, right? So it's a 15 by 15 uh, rectangle. The thickness of the walls, uh, of the exterior walls is 30 centimeters. The interior ones are 0.1, right? So. Uh, I'll go back here. I'm going to type R. So I'm going to start using shortcuts. R is for rectangle, which is here. Uh, but as we go on, it's not a bad idea to, uh, to get used to shortcuts. So R, right? How do you assign the dimensions? Just 15, comma 15. And you see, when you are typing, it's going to type it right here at the bottom right. Okay? So uh, this is going to be the floor. I'm going to push it. Push is here, of course. It's also over there. But I'm going to go with P, shortcut again. Uh, I showed you where the shortcuts are in the last video. And you see it's waiting in the distance to get the dimension. I'm going to go with 0.3, right? Now I want to draw a window here, and I want to right click and make a group. It's always a good idea to have a group because SketchUp tends to connect things to each other and that's something that you might not want. So I'll go to top view, right? And now I'm going to use the tape measure here. The shortcut is T, right? So I'm going to type T and I'm going to just click here, move, and you see it's still uh, waiting for, for the dimension again. So I'm going to type 0.3. Feel free to do it on other side. So 0 0.3 here, 0 0.3 here, one at the bottom. I know the first wall is five meters away, so I'm going to go here, go with five. Then I want to go with 0 0.1 for the interior wall, right? So I'm starting from left to right to complete this plan. Then I have three and a half, one and uh, 1.8. So T. Three and a half. Uh, this time it's going to be another interior wall, point 0.1, and then we have uh, 1.8. Another point 0.1 here, right? What else we have? Uh, we have four and a half meters here, and then five. So four and a half, five. So let's go here, four and a half. 0.1 and then 1 5 meter and then 0.1 here again and from here to here it's going to be four and a half as you see 4.7 um, actually let me go back here this one I want to be 0 0.3 here and here I, I'm kind of going to have a um, glass area a sunroom area or a greenhouse area. That's why I'm going to consider it thicker. So this last one, I'm going to actually go with 0 0.3. And you can select this one if you want, and you can just erase it. Okay, so now from here to here is also 4.5, which is correct. Let's see what else we have here. We have one meter from the bottom of here. Uh, so I'm going to take care of that here. Again, tape here is going to be one meter. Don't worry about the additional lines. We'll get rid of them later. And here I have two and a half. 1.8 is still there, the reference line. So I just need two and a half from here to the top, two and a half, 
and 0.1 for the interior wall. I see I got everything except for here from uh, this corner is 1.8 and then there is 0.3 this entrance so 1.8 and then 0.3 here so that looks good I think we have all the lines right now what we can do is just to start drawing like we can draw the rooms here one two three four five six seven and eight rectangles I can draw them first so I want to type R we have like one room here let me see uh, we have one room here we have one in here one rectangle I mean of course each room is different like here this is uh, gonna be the entrance this rectangle here is gonna be the washroom we have one in here uh, one in here and let me see if I missed any lines uh, it seems that we'll missed one line here I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be around three meters so I'm gonna go with T again and go with three meters here and point one here All right so we have one more um, rectangle R here so we get the uh, closed areas now I'm gonna use line uh, to create the rest of the items line is here the shortcut is L L goes here over there over there if you hit escape it's gonna just escape so uh, if, wherever you want to stop that's all right we can also go here complete this area and it's gonna go one meter here and it's gonna join here and I need some lines here actually three lines here and here uh, I also want to draw the rectangle around the whole uh, perimeter again because the rectangle that we created we grouped it in the floor so I'm gonna type R from here to here now if I go to push Let's go to maybe 3D view, type P or pushes here. I should be able to grab this area, right? And let's say maybe three meters. So I want to go with three. All the walls are created at once. Uh, feel free to uh, delete these lines if you want. There were just some reference lines. So in the next videos, we'll talk about how to complete uh, this building.